In today's video, we are going to be on Realms SMP, and I give you guys a tour of the whole Realms SMP village and show you guys all these insane changes that have happened. Watch till the end to see everything, and guys, hopefully you guys do enjoy the episode. Guys, like and subscribe in 5 seconds if you want to join Realms SMP. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Realms SMP for you guys today. And today, we're gonna be doing something fun. But right before we get started with today's video, if you guys are brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so you guys never miss a brand new video. And guys, today's like goal is going to be 60 likes because, you know, we are on episode 60. So I'll go down there and slap that like button down there down below. And let's kind of get started. So you guys know how it is. Every time we start off an episode of Realms, we have to do one very important thing. And is, is wait, <laughs> is rain going through the ceiling? Do you guys see that? Oh, I don't see it anymore. What? <laughs> okay, that's kind of weird. But uh, you guys also know the important thing that we need to do is announce who made it to this week's episode of the Subwall segment. For you new viewers who have no idea what the Subwall is, basically on every episode of Realms SMP, I add one of you guys to the Subwall. And all you guys need to do to be added to the Subwall and get a small little shout out is like the video, be subscribed because it's called the Subwall, watch through the whole video, and leave a comment with the hashtag AARMY, and I choose one of you guys from the there. The person who's actually made it to this week's episode of the Subwall segment is the one and only Emily Shaver. I'm so sorry if I said that name wrong. I, I feel like I said it right, but your comments should have been on screen and all that. So thank you so much for doing everything that I asked and all of that. And um, I agree, I should be a little bit more serious whenever, uh, you know, we have anything to do with the 666 coordinates. But uh, anyways... Today's episode is going to be a little bit different only because, um, first of all, uh, it's kind of, you know, my first video actually back to, like, uploading, you know, consistently. My break is semi-over. I'm going to be uploading more videos again, guys, so, so sorry if you guys, uh, you know, missed the video. It's needed some all break, but uh, I think we're almost back at full force, but, uh, no promises yet, but we're going to try to upload more regularly. Second of all, um... I, I don't know if you guys could tell, because uh, if you guys have been literally watching everyone else, like uh, Tim, Brandon, and Rage, they've all been extremely active on the server. What the heck happened here? Okay, let me fix this. Okay, there we go. But um, they've all been extremely active on the server, ladies and gentlemen, and I don't know if you guys could kind of tell, but uh, yeah, a lot of changes has kind of occurred on the server uh, while I've been kind of uh, gone. So I kind of want to give you guys a small tour and all of that and kind of you'll catch you guys up before, you know, um, we get to work on whatever the heck we need to work on. So is there a way to like skip the rain though? I feel like this world like, just looks 10 times better with just the rain off. Uh, okay, we can't sleep through the rain. I guess we just kind of have to deal with it. So um, I guess the first thing I do want to address is the base itself because... um. You guys know, ever since episode 1 of the series for me, I kind of said I wanted to turn this ravine that we found in the abandoned village into, you know, a full-fledged Minecraft base. And personally, I think we did a pretty good job these last 60 episodes. Let me know if you guys like the base and all that. We still gotta work on some stuff like this room here, being like kind of like a vacation area. And we also kind of like, you know, um, got distracted with another project, which is the other side of the space, which is like, can I use the trident of flight? There it is, if you guys know what to try in the flight is then uh we what what uh that was awkward okay we are gonna pretend that that didn't happen oh wow uh whoops okay uh trying to flight is a little overpowered but we should be fine and good to go i hope okay let me just uh get rid of these blocks and all right but, uh, I think we just need to go, like, a block lower, which is down here. So, um, yeah, so you guys know we kind of got distracted with the actual base and, you know, um, worked on this area here, which is basically the hidden side of the base. If you guys don't know, there was another ravine just kind of connected to, uh, this ravine. So I was like, alright, we need to make a hidden base just in case any entity, um, attacks happen. So this is kind of the hidden base and all that. We're still kind of working on it. You guys have been kind of following the, um, construction of this area, if you guys don't know. We're kind of working on stuff over here, too. Um, we're kind of going to have to make... Uh, I, okay, so basically, this is where I want all the animals to be. Because uh, if you guys don't know, we kind of lost our farm because of something stupid that I did personally. But uh, we're, you know, kind of breeding a lot of animals. I got to bring more of them down here. I want to, like, move the horses here, too. But I kind of have an emergency exit, so uh, but I will talk about that later. But, um, 
Okay, you guys have been watching my episodes. Before you guys haven't been watching anybody else's episodes, which I kind of doubt because you guys have been telling me about stuff that um, Rage and Brandon specifically have been doing during their live streams. So, uh, okay, Gribber, Gribber, Gribber. All right, goodbye. And actually, it's nighttime, so we could actually skip the night. Um, did I leave any? Okay, you know what? We're gonna like sleep in Rage's house, cause um, yeah. Okay, so if there is one thing on the server that I feel has changed like a lot is this house here. If you guys don't remember, oh, a bed. If you guys don't remember, Rage has basically had a total of three houses because uh, he's had this rebuilt like okay he rebuilt it you know like a one time himself like you know like the first time he built it uh and the second time he built it right and then the third time brandon was just like okay you know what rage you, you need to stop because i'm gonna make it for you and um yeah this is his newest house which honestly in my opinion is the best looking house so far that he's uh made so uh, not, not the brightest made that Rage has had, because Rage didn't build this, but, you know, it looks beautiful. Everything kind of connects to, you know, like, his, um, the bottom part of his base and all that, which I actually don't know how it connects down there. He has a pet fox, it looks like it, and uh, it looks like he still needs to do some interior designing, but it seems to be looking pretty solid so far. Uh, I really don't know what else he has planned for this place, but really is a solid looking house he has a place to read when does rage read uh okay that's cool and all a kitchen and i still don't know why there's just a random hole over here but hey you know what i'm not gonna complain now um these two things here are a little more recent and um if you guys don't remember a while ago when i was trying to turn this place back into a village which i successfully did for a while but for whatever reason the villagers that we were breeding disappeared so i need to like find new villagers and kind of bring them back here and you know breed them again so that's something we got to do soon but, um, in order to make this into a real village, I had to build, like, a blacksmith and a church, which I kind of, like, you know, um, just straight up copied from, um, you know, a normal village you'd find. And it looks like both Rage and Brandon rebuilt both the places to, you know, make it a little more custom. So, this is the new blacksmith that Brandon kind of redesigned. Like, I didn't really care, only because, you know... I, I kind of just like straight up copied the design from a normal Minecraft uh, blacksmith and honestly this looks a lot better like a lot more life and personality into it I like the way it looks what, what why did some doors open is there like a villager in here what you guys heard that right uh okay I'm gonna just ignore that but it looks super nice I do like what Brandon did with this place and what the heck is that door opening oh is there an upstairs okay hold up let's kill that pig and go upstairs and see what's up. Oh, there is an upstairs. I thought I saw stairs on the side. But this looks so awesome. Brendan's always been a good builder. But, uh... Okay, for real. What the heck were those... You guys heard those doors too, right? Wait, let me go back into the blacksmith real quickly. I want to see if I, like, hear it again. Alright. You guys heard that too, right? I'm not, like... Okay. I'm trying to listen. I, I think we're good? I don't know. Well, oh, this thing went down. Oh, it's because this is a pressure plate. Okay. Okay, that confused me. All right, mystery solved. I thought I was being followed or something. I should be the only person on the server right now, so... <laughs> All right, that was strange. But uh, yeah, so Brandon rebuilt the blacksmith, and Rage rebuilt the church, which no longer has a grave because I built one there, and... um. Fusion Droid Stands Realms SMP Church. This is such a weird name, and I don't know what's up with these blocks here, but, um, all right. I do like it. Has a lot more personality than the church I made, so, yeah, all right. I like it. I like it. I don't know what's up with these two blocks. Can I fix it for him? No, I can't, so, yeah, Rage and Brandon did a good job. Rage also remade the, uh, prison that we had, and... Honestly, this looks a lot cooler. I don't know. Like, again, I was just building stuff just to kind of fill in the world. Or, you know, like, the village and all that. Because there was a lot of stuff that we just did not have. Are there missing iron bars there? I don't know. Um, But, uh, yeah. So, here we go. We have um the sheriff's office. Which, you know, I don't know who the sheriff is. I think, like, both Rage and Brandon are the sheriff or something. I, I don't know. They're doing some, like, police thing. But I, sh you guys have probably been keeping up. Um, What the heck? Rage looks her cell and there's a llama in there. What did you do, buddy? Okay, I don't want to know either. Okay, and, uh, yeah. I don't know, man. It looks pretty cool. I don't know who made this, whether it was Rage or whether it was Brandon or I... I honestly don't know. You guys let me know. 
But, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. I do like it a lot. Now, another thing that's, you know, obviously been kind of built is the Christmas tree. We were supposed to have a Christmas special that we never did, but, <laughs> you know, it's kind of too late for that. Unless you guys want a late Christmas special, there's graves for, um, Rage's Sheeps. If you guys don't know, we had a total of two Kiwis, and, uh, I'm just saying, Strawberry's still, you know, chilling. I, and, uh, and Tim over here built a, uh, Strawberry... Not Strawberry, a Kiwi... Um, statue, which, you know, looks absolutely awesome. I do like this thing, like, a lot, actually, so that's pretty cool. Now, um, something weird about this is, uh, I don't know what this is, like, what's this for? Like, I don't know why you can go inside it, but, hey, you can. Um, really don't know why, but, hey, you know, whatever, it's there, it's a thing, we'll, we'll deal with it. Um, uh, my, of course, my cafe over here, as you guys can see, if you guys don't remember, we built this thing, so, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, again, a lot of you guys seem like you guys like this Aris Bucks cafe, and so, you know... Yeah, I do like it. I do like it. We have a nice, you know, little eatery up here. So, uh, you can bring your friends, get some coffee, get some, uh, snacks. I don't know. Enjoy some cake with your coffee. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we make frappuccinos, too. The, uh, the, uh, zombie frapp guys. Yeah. And, um, we also have these, uh, smaller builds. Again, I'm just trying to, like, basically fill in the village, right? I also made this community farm here, and we need to fix that later. But, um, so we have the library. I think Brandon put the bookshelves here, lol. I need to, like, really work on these places a bit more, because, yeah, this is also just another random place. Um, was this meant to be a store? I don't remember. I built it. We have rules here and, like, um, community message board. Rage still owes Brandon a new horse. Rage, what the heck did you do? We no longer have a fire. Can we just, like, ignite it again? There we go, because I put this camping area here. Then, did Rage build this or did I build this? I really don't remember. This is probably a Rage Elixir build, right? Or is it a me build? Or, no, this is me. I think that's Rage. Yeah, I think I built this one. Yeah, okay, all right. And all of these houses here are just, you know, left over from the village. Brandon made a huge statue of himself. And, you know, we also have the uh, two beacons. Um, yeah. But uh, I actually haven't seen a statue of Brandon as of yet. But it looks pretty cool, I think. Maybe. It's alright, you know, it's cool. Um, kind of an eyesore, I'm just kidding, but alright, it looks cool. Oh, you can go inside. And I can see Brandon's head from here, and it's empty. Perfect, alright. It is definitely him. Um, Tim made this cool little pagoda, I think this is what it's called. Um, okay, so, before I show this off, I guess you guys have to see all of Tim's shops. He has a lot of cool shops over here. I use that bookshop and this shop a lot for some supplies. That he has his own base here, which I think is really cool. Literally right next to me, so that's awesome. Um, yeah. But, um, okay. So this is where things get a little, like, different uh, design-wise. So for whatever reason, Tim and Brandon decide to make some um, Japanese-inspired, I guess, builds. And they're pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Let me just quickly get rid of these guys real quick. And, okay, these pigs too. You guys just need to go. Alright, alright. But anyways, um, okay. So, oh, what the heck is that? Looks like there's just a random sheep up there. Oh, and of course the hotel that we still haven't finished. Um, we'll talk about that later, guys. But anyways, okay. So, yeah. I really don't know what Tim has planned here. I really don't want to click this button. I'm pretty sure this is just a, uh... This is just some kind of elevator, but I'm kind of scared to break it. But I'm pretty sure he has, like, stuff he wants to build in here. So, I don't really want to spoil too much of that. Over here is actually Brandon's living area. He chose, like, this area over here to just, like build stuff and again a lot of very um japanese inspired builds and all that looks really really cool i think that's a shop that uh rage bought from him brandon's the mailbox i guess i don't know uh just a lot of stuff i don't know man like pretty cool i like the way brandon's space is looking out to be everything's looking quite nice you guys got um i don't know a bar here i, I really don't know what this place is i really do like it when brandon builds stuff everything just looks nice like and all that so yeah, uh, oh, hi sheep, how you guys doing? He has, uh, I think a sub wall over there. There's more stuff, like, over there, but I really don't know what it is. He has all his stuff just kinda out here and all that, so... I do have a lot of ideas for my base after looking at all this, though, but there's a lot of stuff we kinda need to work on, and... There's a big tree here. And a mushroom, or there used to be a mushroom, I don't know, uh, yeah. So, I guess that's really everything in, you know, I guess the, uh realms smp village that you know i kind of caught up with 
Um, oh, there's my logo. I put my logo, like, in a lot of places here. I should really, like, yeah. But anyways, okay. Um, now, something I did want to do, which I wanted to talk to you guys about after, you know, kind of showcasing all of this. Um, first of all, I need to work more on my base because I feel like, you know, it, it's such a big space that we still need to kind of fill in. And I need your guys' help with, you know, ideas of what, you know, can be inside the base. So, um... Yeah, I, I really don't know how to, like, explain it, but we have, like, a lot of room for stuff, but really nothing is going on, so... I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what's up there, so, uh, give me some ideas, guys, and all that, and... Yeah, okay. But anyways, here's what I wanted to talk about, okay? So, don't tell the other guys, but recently, you know, whenever I hop on the server, I do work from time to time, that's why, you know, some things get done and all that. But, um... Here's something you guys probably know, right? So, if we go into the nether over here, right? Okay. We're just gonna go straight through. You know, we go into the nether. We, um, kind of are super close to my... Let me just get rid of this guy. There do we go. Goodbye, buddy. Well, we're super close to this place here, which is, um, gonna be my future nether base, which we still need to work on. But, in that nether base, we actually do have a nether portal... Which leads us to my secondary base, which is the base we have extremely close to the 666 coordinates. Now, to be honest with you, I wanted a second base, right? And, um, all that just because, you know, a second base is cool. I'm just gonna be honest, right? But, uh, what the heck happened here? Oh, right, they broke it, so the... Alright, you need to stop opening your mouth, buddy. Uh, we'll fix that later. But, um, so we had this place kind of made, or I had this place made in order to be close to the 666 coordinates, which, you know, we still gotta work on some stuff involving that, um, some other time, just so we can have a secondary base, right? But, um, the thing is, okay, now, here's something I want to do, and I want to hear your guys' thoughts on it before I kind of, you know, uh, fully commit to it. I want to make a third base, like, a third one, just completely far away. I'm thinking, like, maybe 5,000 blocks away, you know, someplace pretty, pretty far, and uh, just make something super secret there, because, you know, um, uh, uh, as, uh, bad as it sounds, you know, like, okay, this is pretty a good thing, right? The other members have been active lately, like, you know, and, um, I feel like, I feel like, you know, I, I like what they've done with the village and all of that, but I feel like they're a little too, how do I put this? A little too comfortable just entering my base, like, you know, it's, it's okay, right? You know, they just enter my base and literally, like, in, on my secret channel, Aeris Plays, I literally got pranked by Brandon, and it was kind of annoying, to be honest, just fixing all those pranks and all that, so I kind of want to make a whole new base where, you know, you guys just, you know, um, where the other guys just don't really know where it is, because they know where base 2 is, and, you know, this will still be my main base here, but I do want to build a secondary base that's pretty far away, and I feel like that would be a very safe place to keep, like, you know, some backup gear for, you know, anything involving the entities. So, I want to hear your guys' thoughts. We're still going to be working on this place and that place at the same time, but, you know, I want to hear everybody's thoughts on all this and all that, and... Yeah, because, you know, as much as I love working on this place, I feel like another base would be kind of cool, and I want to make it, like, a super cool way to get there. Or, you know, maybe I can just, like, okay, I do have an idea, but I don't want to, like, you know, say it out loud yet. I want to get all the materials for it first before we kind of get started on that project. So, let me, let me know, guys. Let me know if you guys think a third base would be pretty cool before we kind of, like, you know, work on entity-related stuff. And, um, yeah, I don't know, like, a lot of stuff there, guys. And I think these are all the rules. Um, okay, alright, alright. Uh, replenish farms after using. Also, pay wait. Wait, I swear, doesn't Brandon just take stuff from my farm all the time? I have not gotten paid for that for in a while, huh? Okay, whatever. Uh, respect everyone's pets, and that is why I hid Strawberry. Also, Strawberry's hidden, guys, so... Yeah, I completely hid Strawberry off-camera, so if you guys want to know where Strawberry is, let me know in the comment section down below, ladies and gentlemen, because, you know... Yeah, but, um, okay. I don't know, I guess this is kind of just, um, also an updated world tour for a lot of you guys who have, you know, I, okay, you, I'm pretty sure you guys have been keeping up with the series, but, like, you know, um, yeah, I'm, there's also action space, but he isn't really active, if I'm gonna be honest, so, whatever, but, um, yeah, so, I guess we're pretty much just gonna end it off here, if I missed anything important about the world that, you know, you guys, or maybe I just don't know where it is, um, let me know, guys, because I wasn't about to go to the 666 or the Cursed Village, um, literally right now, just because it seems a little... How do I say this? Uh, 
It just seems kind of unsafe, so <laughs> I really don't know if I, you know, going alone is, you know, like a smart thing to do, but hey, whatever. We'll see how it is. Do I not have a fence anywhere here? Uh, okay, let's get a fence. I'm pretty sure I should have one here. Uh, hmm. Wait, those are fence gates. Uh, bro, I swear I'm supposed to have, to have a fence somewhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, I knew it. Uh, let's just put you right there, okay? You stay here, uh, just because this horse has been annoying and we are going to be working on a stable soon, so, um, yeah. But, um, anyways, alright. Again, let me know if I missed anything and let me know what you guys think I should work on next with the base and all the other projects and all of that because I want to get prepared and, you know, with everything. So, um, yeah. So anyways, that's going to be it for this episode of Realms. If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and is that just a random, um, why is there just a random grass block here? You know what, I kind of want to keep the grass, so we'll take that. But anyways, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and guys, that's going to be about it for me. Thank you all so much for watching. See you guys in the next video, and peace. Bye, guys.